You guys are asking about the 24th. Neither was the 24th. What? Well, the 24th is the day she took the cans. Took the cans. That's. I guess what we're looking at is that, is that the way to the, uh, the, the cans were taken on the 24th. That's because that's when you report. So we know that's a record date. Right. Do you think that they would pull out? And the car is coming on the 30th, so you know she's not driving from it. Straight out to Mark Williams with WMDB when he says the pool thing. Is he talking about when the ladder to the pool was misplaced? Yes, Nancy. He was he was talking about uh, that the pool area gate was open, the ladder was was uh, taken up, and that was around June 24th or so. That was the same day George Anthony had a confrontation with Casey over the gas cans that she had in the back of her car. She he wanted to get close to the car, but she wouldn't let him. It was it was not a pretty scene out of the Anthony household, Nancy. We are taking your calls live, Sheba in Illinois. Hi, Sheba. Hi, Nancy dear. Uh, I know that I came down pretty hard on her mother the other day, but my question is, would the lawyer, would the lawyer, okay. their lawyer, have them maybe get some psychological help, whether or whether or not they find Kaylee? Because I really worry about them. Excellent question. Joining us tonight, let's unleash lawyers Paul Batista and John Burris. Uh, John Burris, have you ever suggested one of your clients get help, emotional help? Well, uh, my clients, I, I su just suggest that all the time. I think it's very important that they have get help uh, in a case, and whether they need it or not. Brought America stylishly affordable vehicles has now made it even easier. Now you can get 5,000 cash back on the Kia Sedona. It is your real hair. If you're WDBO. Nikki, the story George Anthony recounts about how his daughter presented a fake deposit slip for like $4,000 and it wasn't real. The money had not been deposited into the parent's account. Yes, um, they. she apparently said something along the lines of having that $4,000 or $5,000 to Jose Baez saying that she was going to present $1,400 now and the balance when she quote, gets out of this situation, but she simply didn't have the money, according to George. You were just seeing and hearing little Kelly Anthony. Everybody, we are taking your calls live. I want to go back to John Burroughs, San, uh, San Francisco defense attorney. You just said you have your clients get counseling whether they need it or not. 
Well, I don't mean whether they need it or not. Obviously, I don't have them do counts unless they do need it. There are two considerations. But that's here. what you said. One, you're looking for whether one. I know, but one, what you're looking for is clinical, whether or not they really need treatment for help. And then, secondly, you're looking at a forensic point of view and whether or not there's some kind of psychological disorder that may be necessary to be used in court. It may be. Oh, you mean you get them evaluated part, whether they need it or not? Okay, I get it. Yeah, they're being evaluated because it may be that there's a psychological disorder that may be in existence that you want to use. Got it. On the other hand, it may not be, and just clinically they need help because they need they're to suffering. Be, okay, I understand now. To Paul that's Batista, not discoverable. To a uh, defense attorney and author of Death's Witness, Paul, uh, what the caller was asking about was George and Cindy Anthony, should they have some type of help dealing with little Kaylee's disappearance? Well, I can speak as a human being. And dealing with the whole Casey situation. Yeah, I can speak as a human being, not as a lawyer. As so a I really... lawyer, do you tell your clients they need counseling? Almost never, Nancy. I'm a lawyer, not a doctor. If I have a client who's in a great deal of distress, I might say, hey, Mr. Smith, maybe it's a good idea if you get, get counseling. But that's not really a legal determination. Uh, I do, would do it as a human being. Here, here, it may be appropriate. George Anthony is obviously in a great deal of anguish. And I might say to him, George, you might see someone. Everybody, we are playing for you tapes that have just been released in the past hours. Police interrogation tapes of grandfather George Anthony. And boy, are they revealing. Take a listen. On Sunday, we had the prayer visual technique our house. There were 15, 18 of not only a couple of friends of my son that knows Casey and my son very well. We talked about so much stuff. What happened in the last two years? You guys, can help us out. What's going on? Everyone can come. Casey's a good mom. Casey this. Casey, we call her mom. And there she got with Kaylee. She always had to make sure Kaylee was away from alcohol or someone smoking. That's what they told us. Now, in the last two, two and a half months, these same friends that she's had for, since she's been a little one, they've been over her house. They've been out of the picture. Yeah. Maybe she might call them, but then she tells a lie, a lot of lie, upon something else to get them going into the direction. I, I don't like this freaking attorney that she has. I can tell you that right now from, from personal experience. I don't like the guy. I don't get that guy. How did he come to the my, my daughter talked to someone who has initially incarcerated her. I guess who she ever talked to. You know, according to my daughter now, this is what Mr. Vi is calling Or Jose, I'll just call him that. Says, told um, Jose Baez. Oh, I asked someone who's a good attorney. And she has $5,000 supposedly, or at least $1,400 of it, to give to him as a retainer to assist him. We did not contact this man. We initially, when he came to our, he called us, we thought he was a court appointed attorney. Uh, you know, that's what we thought. Because my daughter does not, I don't think she has it. My wife and I discussed this thing about the pool. Matter of fact, my wife, when she called me one day after she was home from work, she called me. She said, hey, George, did you shut the gate? I said, what gate? She said, the gate around the side. I said, Cindy, I always shut it. It's always locked. Or I shut it. I make sure I have it shut. She said, well, I can hold the gates wide open. And by the way, thanks for taking and leaving the ladder on the plus. I didn't go swimming. I'm not a real swimmer. I had to go in it to cool up. I had to stay in it for a period of time. So I didn't put the ladder on it. I didn't do that. Straight back to Nikki Pierce with WDBO. According to George Anthony, Grandfather George, what theories have he and wife Cindy Anthony discussed about Kayla's disappearance? I think the one that has gotten the most discussion between the two of them is um, evidenced in the clip that you just played that they had been discussing the fact that Kaylee loved to swim and sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes the ladder may be left down on the pool so that it's accessible to her and perhaps it was a tragic accident and she drowned in that pool. That was the one that was discussed the most when they did yeah. uh, entertain the notion. Back to John Burris and Paul Batista, our lawyers tonight. A tragic accident does not account for the online searches for how to make chloroform, do-it-yourself sedative, and uh, a, a lot of other uh, forensic <clears throat> evidence. If there was an accident, John Burris, why not call 911? Well, of course that makes sense to do it, but you know, I, I think that if there's an accident, she very well may have panicked. She may have well have thought that no one's going to believe this, and therefore she d 